Welcome to another Azure Guy video where hands on learning is priority one. I'm an Azure administrator, Azure security engineer, as well as an Azure solutions architect. Challenge question three multi containers, 10% of the CCAT exam, part two of two. We're going to create a YAML manifest for a pod named Data Exchange. The main application container named main app should use the image busy box. The container runs command that writes a new file every 30 seconds in an infinite loop in the directory var slash app slash data. The file name follows a pattern, blah, blah. The variable counter is incremented every interval and starts with a value of one. Modify the YAML manifest by adding a sidecar named sidecar. The sidecar container uses the image of busy box and runs a command that counts the number of files produced by the main app container every 30 seconds in a infinite loop. The command writes the number of files to standard output. Next, define a volume of type empty dir, mount the path var app data for both containers. Then you're going to create the pod, tail the logs, the sidecar container, and then delete the pod. Good luck. Okay, part two of challenge question three, multi-containers, which is 10% of the CCAD exam. This one's a little more difficult than part one. Create a YAML manifest for a pod named data exchange. The main application container named main-app should use the image busybox. The container runs a command that writes a new file every 30 seconds an infinite loop in the directory var app data. The file name follows the pattern. The variable counter is incremented every interval and starts with the value of one. So uh, step one is to create the YAML manifest. So, and data exchange image equals busy box to a dry run equals clients and we'll call it data yaml uh, up there we go that should be an equal sign Go into the YAML. First thing is hit I for insert mode. Cruise on down to our name. Change that to main dash app. Next, we want to put a command in which is going to create our new file for us. Okay, for our command, we'll do a shell out. And we'll do a C. And we need to set the counter equal to one. Then while true, we want to create a file. And increment the counter.
and sleep for 30 seconds. Then done. All right, that should do that. Let's see, let's take a look at it. I don't see any typos yet. Counter. All right, that looks pretty, pretty, pretty good. Okay, off to the next task. Okay, the next tasks, task wants us to modify the YAML manifest by adding a sidecar, by adding a sidecar, name sidecar, so another container. This sidecar container uses the image busy box and runs this command that counts the number of files produced by the main app container every 30 seconds, an infinite loop. So let's do that. All right, where it looks like we're still in uh, insert mode. So I'm gonna come down to here, at the very end. say image busy box we'll add another container and we want it to be called sidecar we want to give it a command All right, so we want this to count. So we'll say while true to ls dash d slash var slash app slash data star dash data dot text. Pipe that out to wc. Nice L, and we'll sleep for 30 seconds, and then we'll say, all done. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and save it. That should end this task. Okay, this part of the question wants us to find a volume of type empty dir and mount the path var app data for both containers. So I'm in our community documentation. I typed in empty dir. I'm gonna hit enter. And we will choose the first one. And then over here, we'll choose empty dir. And we should come to a nice example. Let's try that again. Empty dir. There we go. Good example right there for us. So we're going to create the volume under containers and then mount the volume. Says go to our terminal. We'll bring up our YAML back into insert mode. I'm going to say volumes. I, was it, I think it's da is it dash name. Yes. We'll call it shared ball and mount path. 
I believe is what it is. Nope, empty dur, empty dur, empty dur. Type is empty dur. Oh, just empty dur, no type. E M P T Y capital D, of course. There we go. We'll cruise up here to our containers. Say volumes. Name. Shared vol. Mount M O U N M O U N T path will be var app data. Do the same thing for this one. Volumes, name, share, file, mount, MOU. There we go, let's go check our path name, that looks right. Value amount, so it's value amounts, not value. Of course, there's an S there. All right, I think we got it. Okay, on to the next task. Okay, we want to start of start our pod. Looking pretty good there. Next, we want to check for the logs. So we're going to go to the pod itself, see for the container. The container name is sidecar. Then F to tail it. And we should about every 30 seconds see a new number. So one, then we should see a two really quickly. And then a three, 30 seconds from now. So it looks like this is working. So uh, if you guys, if you got yours working, good job. Thanks for watching the video. And, uh, Of that and then just do a QCTL delete pod cleanup. Thanks again.